welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about our no spend January 2018. So me and my fiance have decided that we are going to do a no spend for the month of January. So January 1st through January 31st. We would do February, but we have a birthday on our anniversaries in February. So that just kind of gives it, it's going to happen. <laughs> so um, rules that we've set for ourselves is no spending money on anything that is not a necessity. So gas, food, utilities, rent, um, laundry, soap, shampoo, toothpaste, those are necessities. Those are things that you need to have every day to function. So the things that you don't need is we don't need to be going out to eat. We don't need to go shopping. So that's no makeup, no toys, no clothes, you know, nothing that's not a need that we have to have. So nothing that's an extra expense added onto our budget that we have like all our bills and stuff. So the next thing people would probably ask is why are we doing this? Well, we're doing it specifically because we have a wedding coming up in June and we want to start off our marriage with, you know, having the least amount of debt that we can. So trying to get out of debt is crucial right now. We also would like to have money in savings because eventually someday we want to buy a house. So trying to minimize our debt now and get a savings is better for our long term. So reasons that somebody else could be doing it is maybe a vacation, um, getting out of credit card debt. Maybe you have medical bill debt that you're trying to pay off. Um, maybe you're trying to work on your credit score to maybe buy a house someday. Um, maybe you have an upcoming family expense that you know is coming up. So if you want to cut back now, then you know you'd be able to afford it then. There's tons of different tons of different things that you can do or reasons why you're doing what you do. So just remember that when you go through, if you do plan on having a no spend any month of the year, or if it's just, you know, for a week. It doesn't have to be 30 days. It could be, you know, I'm not going to spend for a weekend because maybe your weekends are your hard points, which for me, Saturdays are very difficult because I don't work and I always want to go shopping. So, you know, so I just do that. Do what works for you and your family and just go based on those guidelines. So good ways to manage. Sorry if I'm looking down. I have my notes here, but ways to manage it is um, one, create a board, create like a um, visual board that kind of gives you things that you want to do or reasons why you're doing it. So that way you don't forget. Post it around your house, put one on your fridge, put one on your bathroom window, or I mean your bathroom mirror, put them in your car, put them at work, anywhere that you're going to see it. So that way it reminds you anytime you have the thought of, oh wait, I'll just go grab this for lunch or oh, I'll just run up here to the store and be like, wait, I don't need that. So I'm not going to do it. And here's why. Um, hide your credit cards and your debit cards so that way you don't have any access to them. Give them to a friend, give them to a family, somebody that you trust, put them in a uh, safety deposit box, you know, shred them if you want to. Just do something where you don't have access to them every single day so that you don't have a slip up and you don't think, oh, well, now I have to have it. Um, tell people around you accountability is key with like weight loss or exercise or doing any kind of goal. Accountability can be amazing. So have the people around you make sure that they're either on board with you or they're willing to support you. And those are the people that you want to talk to and let them know. So that way everybody can help you out because you're going to eventually have times where you're going to hang out with friends or whatever, and they're going to want to buy something and you can't and be like, you know what? We can't afford to go out to dinner or we're doing a no spend this month. So we're not going to go out to dinner with you this month. And it's not because of this them or that you don't want to. It's just that you, your other goal is more important. Um, keep yourself busy. That's a huge one for me. I know, um, if I keep myself busy, it keeps me from thinking about wanting to do things, um, or buy things because I love to shop. Another one that's crucial for me is delete your apps. Amazon, Ulta, Sephora, uh, ThreadUp, anything that makes you want to buy or that sends you notifications or emails that's saying there's a sale or something to buy, that is huge. Especially with me, makeup is a big weakness. So I love makeup. So, you know, Sephora has their wow on Thursday and that's going to be hard, but I need to not look. Or Ulta, you know, not looking at the apps and seeing the sales and seeing all these amazing things that you don't need, but because they're on sale, you're like, oh, I got to get it. That's me. So deleting those can kind of ke can keep that um, temptation at bay. So you don't have to worry about that as much as you would, you know, every time it pops up, you're like, oh, look, Sephora's got another sale. Great. Now I have to have something, even though you don't. Um, when grocery shopping reminds you the difference between a need and a want, um, you need certain foods, you but you don't but you want certain foods. So make sure that you are very good about differentiating between the two and take somebody with you who can hold you accountable if that's a weakness for you. Um, 
And then some ideas that I just thought of that, that kind of keep you busy or keep your mind off of wanting to spend. I know for me, if I get busy, I'm like, I'm gonna go shopping because that's just what I like to do. So other fun things that are, that are a great thing to do is game nights. Invite family and friends over and just have a game night. If you have board games, dice, card games, whatever it may be, just do that. C create a fun scavenger hunt or play categories. I mean, there's, or uh, charades is what I was thinking. There's so many games you can play that don't, you don't even need anything to play. You just each other. Um, movie nights at home. Pull out those DVDs. If you have VHS, pull out your VHSs. Uh, watch a movie on cable if you have cable. Uh, make dinner together as a family. Just everybody come in, make a dinner, and then eat together. Uh, go through your makeup collection. I know for me, that's a huge one. Like, I love to just look at my makeup and swatch it and put different eye looks on and stuff. And, you know, that definitely can kill some time. Uh, do your makeup with a friend or family. You know, like, I know my sister will come over here and we'll do each other's makeup and stuff and have a good time and, and that's great you know or invite friends over just to ha hang out and have a good time and just kind of laugh and joke um there's nothing better than being around people that you love to be around and just laughing and having a good time um record videos if you're on youtube this is a great time to record content if you're a makeup lover like me do tutorials that's what i plan on doing this month um people love watching those and different i love watching tutorials i love to see different eye looks and different color combinations because i'm new at makeup so it's fun for me to watch that kind of stuff um so that way i can bring better content to my channel or know colors which colors go with what and stuff uh visit your friends or family go to their house visit them just hang out for the day uh talk on the phone call somebody you haven't talk to in a long time and just you know touch base and see how they're doing journal journaling is huge it's a great way to get your thoughts out it's a great way to kind of look back and reflect on what you've been through later on um, or write down if you're having a hard time if you're struggling if you're having a good time if you're having if you're doing great on your challenge or whatever and write that stuff down so you can really look back and be like wow I overcame that then I can do it again um, painting it's become a huge hobby of mine I absolutely love painting you can get um, if you have the the stuff already, just paint. Paint on paper, paint on a canvas, paint on something. Grab a piece of wood out in the backyard or whatever and just paint. Just do something. It doesn't even have to be pretty. Nobody will ever have to see it. It's just something for you to help you get past your time. Declutter your house or your closet. That's a huge thing. I know a lot of people have New Year's resolutions. So go through and get rid of old clothes. Donate them. Go through your, your kitchen. Is there some stuff that you don't use or you don't need? Get rid of it, you know? Um, clean your house do instead of a spring cleaning just do a january cleaning and just go through and clean one room at a time every night you come home from work or day or whatever your schedule is just do one room at a time and clean it play with your kids if you have kids you know go out in the backyard do something with them depending on the weather um just hang out with them watch a movie with them play with them you know do stuff uh, exercise is a good one. Exercise is a good one for me, especially because when I'm feeling kind of ick, I tend to exercise and it makes me feel better. It kind of boosts me up a little bit and I just feel like I can conquer the day better. Uh, watch YouTubes or podcasts. YouTube is free. There are many free podcasts online. Listen to music. You know, just sit at home and just jam out to some music. Dance around your house. I know I love to do that. Um, play with your, your pets if you have pets you know they love attention and they love to be around us and so you know give them the attention that they want um, we have a year-round pool I know we love to swim and sit in the hot tub that's always fun to do um, if you have already have a membership somewhere like a gun club aquatic center or the gym you've already paid for the dues for the month of January then use them you know take a friend with you or take your kids with you and use it and and use that as um such a great way to pass time and get to know other people and be around other people. And the only thing I have to say about the whole thing is just remember why you're doing this. You know, you have it's so much fun to connect with people and have this amazing time and stuff. But if you really look at it, if you can save now, you can have such a better future later. And I wish I would have known that when I was younger. I wish I would have really taken that to heart, but I didn't. And so now I'm in a situation that now I have to do it now so that way my future can be better. So, um for us, this is just a th something that we're going to do. Um, we'll probably do it a couple months out of this year just because, you know, it's kind of nice to challenge ourselves to see if we can do it, especially since I'm a shopaholic. Um, but other ways, and I know other people will probably look at it like, what if I fail? What if I fall off the wagon? What if I ended up sp end up spending or I go to lunch, go to work one day and I don't have a lunch or something? You know, for me personally, I don't look at it as a failure. It's kind of like when you're dieting. If you mess up, then get right back on the wagon. Like, don't 
don't let it be the end all, you know, be all or end all is all or whatever that saying is. Um, but if you really want to, you can hold yourself accountable by it. If you do fail, add more days into February. So say I fall on January 5th and then I'll just go from January 5th to February 5th or, you know, the 20th to the next 20th or whatever, or be like, okay, I did 10 straight days. I did really good, but I fell off on the 11th. Then just add 10 more days or one more day into February if that's what you want to do. Um, but I mean, it's all up to you and what works best for you, your family, your schedules. Um, another thing is start right back up. Don't, you know, if you mess up one day, then get right back on the next. It's not, it's not the end of the world. It is just for you anyways. And nobody else has a say on what you do with your money except for you. So this is you doing it for you. So those are your goals that you've set for yourself. So don't let anybody else make you feel like you're less than or, um, belittled because you didn't succeed in whatever goal you had you know most of us don't succeed in the majority of the goals that we set but it's just something that's fun to do and to see if you can do it and then if you can then great because then you can do a million other things you know so just little goals help us to get to big goals um you can make a bet with a friend or a spouse if if you fail or they fail you owe each other something you know it could be something silly um just I just want to reiterate, just remember why you're doing it and don't take it so seriously. It's seriously not the end of the world. This is just something that you can do if you really do want to save some money or goals that you have and you want to achieve them. For us, that's what that's what ours are. We have a wedding coming up and we want to get out of debt. And so that's why we're doing this. And I just figured I could give, come on here and give some ideas on ways that you can get around it or ways that you can um, get through it if you would like to do this challenge with, with us. So I will be back on February 3rd to do an update because that will be our 30 days because we did it from the 3rd today till the 3rd. Well, we actually started on the 1st, but we're going to do from the 3rd since this is when the video will go up. And so February 3rd, I will do an update and see how we did. Um, I know some people will do like charts on how much money they saved. Uh, so that way they can see that there was... Um, a prize at the end of it like they're like wow we saved this much money we should do it again so that's another thing you could do um so if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up i don't think i have anything else to say and if you would like to subscribe to my channel i'm going to do some more um tips like this and some videos on things i think about just my center of the world and YouTube and things we should look at when we're watching YouTubers and makeup reviewers and I love makeup um and I think that's pretty much all I have. So I hope you have a blessed night and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.